What is going on guys, today we are looking at the first showdown boost card. Sevilla did manage to end the streak of Villarreal and we have now got an 88 Acuna. So if you did do his SBC, which was, I want to say about 160 to 150, you are absolutely laughing because the stat upgrade is absolutely gorgeous. He is a very, very nice card now. Unfortunately, we still don't have a four-star weak foot. We obviously do have the four-star skill, so I'm only going to be running for a brief upgrade of what this card is. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. If you'd like to like and subscribe, do that now. I'll wait. But in general then, let's go into what Akuna is all about. So with Akuna, we've already kind of went through the stats in the previous video and kind of like a, a, a more detailed version of it. With these boosts, and it's going to be the same for like one to watch boosts, um, it's going to be Road to the Finals. I don't want to do like this massive thing. I just want to kind of go in, have a look at the stats, have a little bit of a side-by-side side side comparison to what they were and then jump out of it. Just to let you know, especially with someone like this, if you've already got him, then you know exactly how well he's going to be. You know you've done a good job with him. If you did both of them, you're obviously spending about four to 500k, I believe, for both of them. And obviously, if you went with just Akuna, you're absolutely laughing because this card is fantastic. He genuinely could now very, very much contest against Furlan Mendy. I feel like the only thing Furlan Mendy has over him, skill moves and a weak foot, and the fact that he is French. That is going to be two of the big things that Furlan Mendy will have. The only problem that will become of Furlan Mendy is his stats. He is only an 83 rated card and unless they give him a non-performance uh, based special card, we won't see a higher version of him. And normally when we do see a kind of special card of him, it's normally a position change into CDM or right wing striker, what have you. So it's almost like we're just not getting that in form left back um, Mendy. Obviously, Summer Heat yeah, last year was just phenomenal. That card was insane. Probably the best objective card we have ever actually got in terms of what you actually get from the player. Akuna, though, don't want to really kind of like spoil the episode. I'm just going to run through the stats. 92 acceleration with 90 sprint speed. Fantastic. 10 out of 10 for me. We get great passing. 85, 82 short and long. It's decent enough. Obviously, chem styles are still yet to be added. Um, you've got 91 crossing, have him as the left wing back, or pushing him to left mid. 86 vision. We have 94 balance. Phenomenal. 91 composure, as well as dribbling and ball control with 87 reactions and 86 agility. Perfect. Absolutely perfect there. We have 88 stand and 86 slide with the 85 defensive awareness and 84 interceptions. Good enough to start with. And then we can look at some chemistry styles for that. And then we have the 85, 89, 95 strength, aggression and stamina on top. Jumping obviously can't really be helped. So if I was looking at this, if I was looking at this card, I'm thinking defensiveness definitely could do with an upgrade and then maybe passing i feel like dribbling's absolutely beautiful i don't think that needs anything touching with it pace is phenomenal physical to be honest bar from the jumping which realistically at 67 whatever you upgrade it by is not going to be too much of an issue so if we can find a defensive passing uh, chemistry style you are absolutely laughing so we'll have a look at the end of the review for that let's jump into some gameplay and just see kind of what he does as left back so if we go with him then honestly there's a, a bit of difference obviously he was an 86 and now he is an 88 a plus two upgrade it's a shame that it's not a plus three we could be sitting here with an 89 akuna which would just be next level as well honestly just keep plusing them up but honestly there, there's only so much difference you can really make with a left bat like this there's only so much they can actually do really realistically what he's done or what he has been upgraded with is more of a kind of all-round feeling. He just feels more complete as a left-back. Yes, jumping-wise, heading, he's not the most confident. But in terms of his kind of ability on the ball, tackling, passing, uh, crossing, the whole nine feels very confident and comfortable. Dribbling feels good. Obviously, he's got the four-star, which is always nice. It's just a shame on that weak foot. Just in case they do decide to cut in on him, you want to be able to have that right foot ready and handy. But unfortunately, we may have to wait for another card for that. And I'd be interested to see if, say, he did get an inform, 
would he go above his 88 or would he go from his 84 for instance would he be an 85 in form i feel like it's going to be the latter but we can kind of dream that we'll see an 89 akuna very very soon but honestly i like the idea i liked it from summer heat when they did it and i hope they do complete more of these because i feel like they're just something different they add it's almost like when you're betting on a game if you pick something like a, a random game like stoke versus birmingham or something like that if you're not either of their fan game's not really for you same if i'm watching someone like chelsea if i'm watching chelsea versus west brom i have no attachment to them unless they're close to united i don't really care put a bit of betting on it you suddenly care and it's the same with the showdown it gives you something to want if you've only done one of them you're cheering one of the teams on if you if you've got both of them you've got two cards to go either way you're absolutely happy and obviously you're kind of rooting for your best card that you want i feel like it's a stunning attribute that they've brought to the game and hopefully we do see more of him because this is an absolute beautiful card so going into the overall form then there's a couple of options as you can see on your screen i have gone with the powerhouse option gets to 90 defending and 95 passing turning him into a 91 rated right back I think it's great, and I think that is a very well-rounded card right there, so it's always a choice. But then I had a look at Shadow, and I, I know you don't really want to do it, but 99 pace and 92 defending, and I meant 91 left back, not right back, it turns him into a 93 left back. That's so tempting. He has pretty much maxed out defending. He has maxed out fin uh, pace. He ha obviously has 90 dribbling, which is almost maxed out, especially for a left back. And then we have the physical. We already have a good base of passing. It was just for the upgrade. So for me, I'm going with the shadow or you could go with a powerhouse if you want more of a complete left back. Maybe you kind of push him into left mid. Always an option if you wanted him as a super sub. If you've already got Furlan Mendy there, you could whack him up as a super sub, as a left mid card, and I'd still think he'd do very, very well. And he could come back and obviously split into the defensive line. You could even put him on a CDM, to be honest. I really think this card has got the all-round package, and I don't think stat-wise many cards are going to beat this one. He's a very, very nice card. And honestly, he's got the links. I've done pretty much the same sort of links as we did in the first one. Diego Carlos, Kun day obviously navas all severe players cracking links right there then you've got Fulan mendy and we're looking into more of a roberto carlos we're looking at a maldini we're looking at zambrata we're looking at ashley cole there's obviously a very very big jump now in left back capability or yeah capability that this akuna has and i feel like you've got to give him the respect you've got to look at icons you've got to look at Fulan mendy what did what do they have that you like over Akuna and vice versa? Akuna is gone in SBCs now, unfortunately. So if you did want to, if you did want to do him, unfortunately you have missed the boat out on him. But it's just mainly for the people that have completed it. It's a fantastic card, very very GGs, and especially if you took the dive bomb on just one of them and went with this guy, then fair enough because you've hit an absolute jackpot with this one. The best left back who's Argentinian, maybe Zanetti. I think he has got a left back have to kind of side by side compare them but hopefully you did enjoy this video let me know down below if you did get a kuna or did you do any of them let me know down below make sure you like and subscribe i'll see you off the next one pieces